I'm here with Jane Barlow today of Barlow Herbals, and we are making soap, natural soap. Homemade soap. Yeah, so can you tell us, Jane, a little bit about what makes the soap that we're making today, your soaps, different than traditional soaps? Yeah, so I think the biggest thing that most people don't realize is that when you have store-bought soap, one of the most valuable ingredients in soap is glycerin. And glycerin is what makes it soft, it makes it good for your skin, and it's such a valuable commodity that they pull it out and they resell it to like cosmetic companies, people that make lotions and other things because it's so lovely. So then they have to add all this chemical stuff to make it so that you can basically stand it. So if you think about like your traditional soap, it dries your skin out. And like, especially in the winter, when if you live in a cold place, your skin gets so totally dry. So that's the cool thing about homemade soap is you don't take any of the glycerin out. And we actually add some super fatted things like the stuff we've added so far right now is palm oil, coconut oil, olive oil, and then we're going to actually add some shea butter and some other oil too, like maybe sweet almond or maybe calendula to give it a, even a more of a soft, amazing feel. So that's probably the biggest difference is yeah. that, that the glycerin is, that's a natural occurring part of making soap is still in there, which yeah. is so cool. That is so great. And yeah. I know that my skin is so sensitive and I'm, I react to like bar soaps and if I go to a hotel or something, I try and use yeah. the bar soap. So it's probably, so what is it that you think I'm reacting to? Like I get, I break out and bumps if I, I use I think it's your, the chemicals. Yeah. The chemicals and the preservatives and the fact that they add unnatural fragrances. Like I, and there are even some soap makers who add fragrance oils into their soaps. And I don't, and that's, you know, it's a personal choice. But I add essential oils because essential oils are really good for you. And I think we're starting to come back to that because mm -hmm. so many people are sensitive and like I travel with my homemade soap. I have a little soap dish that I, you know, put my soap in and it's wherever I fly, I travel with my soap because the hotel soap, it makes my skin just go blah. Yeah, so. yeah. So I think I'll have to start doing that too. Yes, yes. And also, so not only is it clean, but it has those nourishing oils in there that yeah. really hydrate your skin and the yeah. glycerin. Yep. So that's fantastic. Yeah. I can't wait to try this soap. I know it it's smells so, so good. Yeah. So uh, your kids are like wanting. They call it the chocolate chip soap, <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually chocolate cinnamon spice. What we do is we add real cinnamon. We add cinnamon essential oil and we actually add real Ghirardelli baker's chocolate. Oh my gosh. So, oh, and the does only it, thing is I have to keep them from eating it. Yeah, well, trust me, they won't eat it. But they might ask you to wash their mouth out with soap. If they, if they swear, they'll say, give me the chocolate chip soap. No, but trust me, they won't want to. But okay. it smells really good. Okay, great. Thanks yeah. so much, Jane. Sure. It's so fun to be here with you. It's fun, yeah.